Hello, my name is Zach from the HVAC Shop Talk podcast, and in this video, we're going to talk about R290 refrigerant. This video is brought to you by Yellow Jacket. Something that gives me a great deal of pause and apprehension is R290 because it's one of those things where we all know that it's propane, or a lot of us know that it's propane, and some of you might have just found out. But propane refrigerant makes you think about propane the way it's been used for years. Burning to create heat in a gas furnace, using it in your grill. Well, this is a different grade of propane. What still gives me more apprehension is where you see it. Over on Amazon, there's propane for sale. You can see them in 12 pound jugs. There's 20 pound jugs and just a whole bunch of access to a very, very volatile and flammable refrigerant. And I say volatile because it doesn't take much to get it lit and create a spectacle. So how does the flammability of R290 propane compare with the mildly flammable refrigerants we've talked about over the last few videos, R32 and R454B? Well, let's compare. In this video, I'll be referring back to a book that a guest of my podcast, Jason Abjut, wrote a few years back called Low GWP Refrigerant Safety, Flammable and Mildly Flammable Refrigerants. So if you want to learn more about this subject, this is a great resource, and I enjoyed reading this book. Now we're looking at a chart of different refrigerants. R32 and R454B, they're on this chart. So is R290 propane, which is what we're going to concentrate on. So this is a chart that shows the burning velocity, minimum ignition energy. It's just the amount of energy it takes to ignite the refrigerant. The lower the amount of energy, the more flammable it is. Heat of combustion, how much heat is produced during combustion. And as you can see, let's take a look at R32 first. So the burning velocity of R32 is 6.7 centimeters per second. And that's kind of out there in the middle of nowhere, so let's compare it with something. R454B is 5.2 centimeters per second. So R32's burning velocity is slightly higher than R454B. Now if we compare that with R290 propane, the burning velocity is the most of any refrigerant on this chart, which is 46 centimeters per second, which is roughly seven times, maybe not quite seven times, R32's burning velocity. So it is extremely high flammability. Minimum ignition energy. So minimum ignition energy is measured in millijoules. Small m, large j. For R32, it's 30 to 100 millijoules minimum ignition energy. For R454B, it's 100 to 300 millijoules. For R290 propane, it is only 0.25 millijoules. So that's a fraction of what R32 and R454B need to create that minimum ignition energy. Doesn't take much at all. It's the lowest on this particular chart which also includes R1234YF, R717, which is ammonia, R152, and R600 isobutane, which is another A3. That's another highly flammable refrigerant. Looking at the chart in this picture, you can see another representation. You see class 2L, the mildly flammable refrigerants. As you move to the left and go down on this chart, just think of that as safer and less flammable. So all the refrigerants we're talking about using in present day air conditioning equipment, R454B, R32, they're in that lower left. It's not even a quadrant. It's probably one twelfth the size of the entire box and chart. But if you travel to the top right, which is your most flammable refrigerants, you see R600A and R290. So propane, and isobutane are up there at the top right. So very flammable. Just gives you a representation of how much more flammable these two are than the rest of these other mildly flammable refrigerants. And as you can see, R410A and R134A are also on that left side, but they're at a zero burning velocity because they're A1 refrigerants, which are the least flammable. R290 propane can only be used in very small amounts. It's typically used in small cooling equipment in kitchens, your refrigerators. I'm on a website now called webstaurantstore.com. I just arbitrarily chose this particular website. You can see in this paragraph here, it says, what is R290 refrigerant? 
The EPA recommends food service businesses choose R290, also known as hydrocarbon or uh, HC, which is a natural, non-toxic, and free of ozone-depleting properties. Approved in 2011, hydrocarbons have a low GWP, typically almost zero GWP, and are used in appliances that used to use R404A, R134A, these small kitchen appliances, these little tables they use in kitchens, little prep tables and things like that. R290 has a limit in how much charge can be in a piece of equipment. We're now at the Emerson website. This is one of their blogs. And we're looking at the limits for R290. There's a 500 gram maximum charge limit in open appliances with outdoors and a 300 gram maximum charge limit in closed appliances with drawers or doors. So what can we take away from this very first video and introduction to R290? R290 is an excellent refrigerant, although it is dangerous in that it is very, very flammable. One of the most flammable refrigerants that we have access to. It's used in small appliances and very small charge limits. Most of our residential service techs may never see R290 equipment, while some of our commercial techs will see it on a regular basis. Although we didn't talk about it, the pressures of R290 are closer to R22 than the higher pressures of R454B and R32. Many of you asked about the running pressures of some of these other refrigerants, and we'll go into that in follow-up videos to the initial introductions to each one of these refrigerants. If you have any requests for refrigerants to review or topics to cover, feel free to leave those in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up, share the video on your social media, and as always, I'm Zach Ciotta from the HVAC Shop Talk podcast, which you can listen to on any podcast app. And I will see all of you on the next one. I'm a first year HVAC tech, just trying to stay afloat while my life's a wreck. I sell drinking until three, the job starts at seven, well, the